Well, that took me long enough. But still, after watching all this footage of me jumping around, there are a few things that I've learned that I want to show you. The first thing that I want to show you, if you look right here, is that you can actually draw on top of videos by using Photoshop. It's something that I didn't know that I could do, but it is pretty amazing. So here what I have is a scene of me doing the jump and doing all the stupid motions. And the first thing that I, uh, I started realizing once I started analyzing all these movements was, well, the first thing was this, you see how there's from the points of the hoodie, from the sides of where the zippers are, you can see that that is the part that is going to be most affected by the motion, as in sort of like falling with a delay that we talked in the last video. And, uh, you know, it, it goes with the, the picture of the uh, girl with the skirt that the further away the clothes it is from your body, the more distance it's going to take. And that is going to be able to, you know, help you uh, gain some um, idea of movement. But then I started noting this second thing. You see these lines here? And those lines are where the air does some kind of airbag effect with the shirt. And in this particular case with the hoodie, it's all bagging it up. And you can see that as I continue, this continue to behave that way. It does. It falls. There are some frames that I forgot to draw. It increases uh, the more you fall. And here in this part, you can see that it is already like this part of the of the hoodie is already starting to bag as well with the fall of the air. This is still falling like this is like wrapping around my arm. And we are falling. I have to tell you something as well. It frustrated me just a bit that I thought that by filming myself in a high frame rate to do some slow motion with my cell phone, I would avoid all this motion blur. But no, you apparently you just can't avoid it. You have to go even faster. And you know, my cell phone is not that good. Even though I'm filming all those videos with my cell phone, I love you, little cell phone. So you keep on falling and all of this keeps bagging around my arms and my bodies. And then there comes a moment here. This is the moment with certain delay. Let me go back. You know, I'm already touching the ground. I'm already falling. This is all keeps going up, like bagging, like resisting the fall. And here is the moment where it starts going down. And I want you to take a look at this because right now it all starts going down to the ground, following the movement that I just stopped doing. It also applies to the shirt. You can see how it falls in the center. Like it falls here. Let me just. It starts folding here this way, also bringing everything down. And you can see that it continues that way. And then I drew these lines opening like this because it is some sort of whiplash effect. If you look, let me see if I can go back just a bit. Like all of this curve and motion that was getting accumulated here and together here eventually will get released down this way, like a whiplash, you know? So it just follows, it follows, it follows, and then it just all that forces goes down there. And then it kind of bounces. And so, you know, if I have to separate the two like elements of the motion, we have to say everything that gets bagged by the air, that gets inflated by air in the motion, and everything that is getting or delayed or resisted uh, from the movement. But those two, like the two corners of the hoodie where the zippers are, I started thinking about them like, uh, like I, I don't know how to call it, but like places where the force go. So a, a, every force of every movement you're going to go, all that energy is going to get redirected to some point of your clothes. And in this particular case, it's going to be that two corners of the hoodie. So I, let's just call them the force release points. So you're accumulating force by the fall where everything gets bagged and then boom, it gets all released through these through those corners of your clothes and that applies here on the bunch i have i drawn the bunch yes the bunch is here and it's drawn so you start building up the tension here there's going to be a certain delay you can see that you know the the this uh, sorry i'm pointing at this you can see that this part of the hoodie is already going this way and this one is also resisting like this. This keeps going for a while. You can see that here it starts to bag around my arm and elbow. 
in my shoulder, sorry. You, it keeps going, it keeps going. Here you have to, you start seeing some bagging here that is not from this side, but from this side. Like all the art is, all, all the air is starting to get accumulated here. This keeps resisting like this. And you can see that this is already releasing some force. And you can also see by the laces here on the hoodie that the force is being released like that as well. You see that? It is like super obvious, it keeps going. And then all this force accumulated here, it starts also releasing here. It's going to go this way. I started pointing it right now, but you will see that here, it opens a lot. So, you know, if I don't know, did I do any extra drawings? No, this is me just being absolutely silly. Okay, good. So once again, part with the air, gets together and part where the all the energy from the movement gets released those are the two elements of this motion and i have a few examples here that i want to show you i'm going to close this and i already drawn them so it doesn't take a lot a lot of time but you can see here there's i have this sequence of the punch so it's the same thing is the here is going to be the blue is going to be the bagging the airbag effect and wait the air resistance and then this is going to be re uh, here is going to be resistant and then it's going to be releasing the force so here it is also getting uh, air back here now here is opposing force like delay here is starting to release some of it this is just pure release except for like this tiny part where it gets bagged a bit but it's just pure release of tension and energy here is the same thing, it gets bagged here again. And now, by this time, this is like the second punch and I'm moving so fast that it's just like all of this energy and tension being released at the corners. So you have to start thinking about where the energy is going to be redirected. Like you're, you're putting all this force and motion onto these clothes. Eventually that energy gets released somewhere. It's going to be probably on the part that is further away from your body. Like in this particular case on the hoodie. So you can see here like well this is still a challenge like all of these weird wrinkles that i can't understand i want to figure that out uh figure them out but it's still like ah, it's just, uh, like every time i start learning something there's an extra thing that i don't know what to do with but still energy release and you can see here the same thing it's like bagged bagged energy release energy release for the fall, we kind of have the same thing. So I'm going to go through it pretty fast. Here the blazer gets really bagged, but at the same time there's going to be, well, it's going to get open. I don't know if here is releasing energy so much as it's just opening from all the air that is bagging. Also, don't I look great with this shirt? But still, here with the hoodie and the jacket is going to get all bagged up here. And well, here as well, this is not going to be so much as an energy release as it's pretty much all bagging when you're falling. Here is the same, except for this part of the shirt, where I don't know if it is like bagging air or is this just energy releasing, well, not re energy releasing, but just opposing force, like the delay to the fall. So this actually, well, I I'm gonna go get to it. So now that I am falling, this is just when I end the falling, you can see all the energy release towards this part. It is going to be the same on each and every one of them. It's going to be this energy release from the whiplash effect, except on the shirt, because since it is not open, all that energy is going to go just down with the gravity and it's going to get accumulated here. Finally, I have the same thing for a spin that I was doing. And in this one I have, even even though it is a shirt, you have some energy release from the spin here. And I didn't know, I, I still have to figure out this point where it gets like inflated. But I think that it is this part of the shirt that it actually wants to release this way, all the energy. Here we have the blazer and the shirt. You see, I think that this is all not, it's not being bagged because I'm going this way. So that wouldn't make any sense. Am I going that way? Uh, yes, I am going that way. And so this is, has to be some sort of energy release. So here, energy release, energy release, and some air bagging here. 
And now this one, I like this one because here you can see from behind that because of how, uh, you know, uh, jackets are, they have to get really tense here where your arms are. So there's not going to be like a lot of, how should I say, like symmetric or just unanimous release of energy. It's going to go somewhere else because here you're subject to the costures and your shape. So everything, all the energy release is going to go here. And there's also going to be something bagged from the other side from the spinning as well. So now that I'm thinking, and now that I'm just watching, you know, when you're falling, I was talking about here in the fall, I'm talking about energy release, but it's not really energy release, but it's just like movement delay from the distance between the clothes and your body. That has to do with like the whiplash effect. So, well, so, so, so before I start actually drawing the moving clothes, which I'm really scared of, is three things that you have to take into consideration. First, the delay of the motion of the clothes. Second is the air that the clothes are going to pack, depending on the movement, that is going to inflate the clothing. And three is going to be the whiplash effect and the energy release from the motion itself. There are three things. So just by knowing these three things, tomorrow I'm going to try to draw this without any help. Uh, wish me luck. That's it for today. My name is Javier and I can draw. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know there's not a lot of drawing on it, but if there's a lot of explanation on it. I need to do this to understand what is going on because I couldn't find anything else that would help me with this. And still, it doesn't matter. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.